What is up guys and welcome back. Right, so in this video we're going to be hunting the legendary white bison as well as the legendary elk. And I'm doing this because this guy is not only a legendary guide, it's a, a guide to the ghost bison garment set. So I'm going to show you the locations to all the items you need to craft this complete set. Okay, so we are up north or northwest in the mountains. And we're going to put some scent cover on. And now it actually starts off just over that mountain, so I'm going to speed this up. Being my first attempt at this. I honestly expected the bison to be bigger, the Tatanka and the legendary white bison here. But uh, they seem like a normal sized bison to me, in comparison to how much bigger the croc was, the bull gator. So there is the first clue. Now we're going to spin around behind me and go in that direction. You'll need a couple of ingredients, or should I say items, to craft the um, legendary bison, or sorry, the uh, ghost bison outfit garment set. Now I'm going to show you the locations of the shells and where to get silver earrings as well as what is the third one? I'm not sure. We'll get back to it in a second. Well, you're not here. So there he is. Next clue right there. We're going to go scout that one out and you'll see him drop just past that closest tree to me in the distance there. He's going to drop down and spawn in for us. Now, there he is. Nearly there, I bet. So now I was trying to get a better view for the thumbnail, although that one doesn't look too bad. So I do get a bit closer and study and track him. But it, like I was saying before, the tracking is automatic with the legendaries. I think everything is automatic with these guys because you do track, study, and then skin. Although I think you can miss the study part. Make sure you study them for the 100% compendium. Okay, so trying to get a better angle here just to have a better look at him before he gets murdered and made into clothing. See, I did expect it to be a bit bigger. It seems like the same size as the other ones. So that arrow just pissed him off. And I think I'm using the poison arrows here because the carcass is uh, going to be left behind. Okay, there we have step one. Taking out the ghost bison, or sorry, the white bison, legendary white bison, and then we're going to take it straight back to the trapper because this guy is far away from everything, and there's a good chance you get knocked over, or lots of people have reported losing their um, their pelts. Just make sure if you fall off your horse, if you get hit by bandits, make sure you check that it's still on there. Do a manual save now before halfway down that whole kind of thing you don't want to fuck around with this don't want to lose that pelt either okay so from here we're going to go straight to the trapper and even though we can't uh, craft the bison outfit yet we just want to get rid of the pelt there it is right there once in a lifetime eh i love what he says about it's got to be good wearing your best day's work wearing it okay i'm going to show you quickly what the garment set is here the ghost bison it's going to be right over here. And because of the chaps I'm wearing, you won't see the full outfit. But right now, we can purchase those if you so desire. But we're going to come back once we've got the elk and the other items. Right, you can see there, we need sheep, goat, or perfect sheep, perfect goat, the legendary elk, and the silver earring. <clears throat> I want to show you the good spots where those silver earrings spawn. Okay, so from here, we're going to go straight for the goat. And the goat and the sheep are very close together. It's going to be... Central New Hanover, just under the H of the Hanover word. And you will see this little setting over here, and this is a little farm. And I wanted to be nice to the guy, but I walk up to him and uh, accidentally brushed his shoulder. So he opened fire, as usual. But there's plenty of goats here, and they won't wander too far. And it'll probably be easier to sneak up on these guys than to have to ride after them and shoot them. They do make funny sounds though. Okay, so skin the sucker, and then if you so desire, you can take the pelt. That was a quick skinning. It sometimes does that if there's a funny angle or slope. Okay, next up we're going to get the pristine sheep. Or is it the perfect sheep? I'm not sure. And that's going to be just east of where you were. This is in Emerald Ranch. Now, there's a chance you can get caught here, so maybe cover up if you want to. Cover your... or put your disguise on. But I was lucky enough to... Not even get wanted 
for taking this guy, even though people were talking to me as I shot it. Hey, fella, you seen a dog? Just do it quickly, have your horse standing by because you can't go over the fence carrying the carcass. So you try to put the disguise on, but you kind of have to do it first. Unless I've got it on. No, I don't have it on. Okay, next up, we're going to go for the shell. Now, this is going to be in Rhodes. Just outside of the town to the north. Very close to it, though. Right in this building here. And then we're going to head just slightly south, staying within Rhodes, and grab the silver earring, which spawns quite often. I've got it multiple times in this uh, location I'm going to show you next. And the shell's sitting right there. Okay, so now we're going to go just a bit south. This is going to be in the saloon or the hotel right over here. And this one you might want to cover up, even though, again, I didn't get noticed at all because you kind of kill all the witnesses in that one room, then leave leaving no trace. Now it took two attempts to get this to spawn and to get the ladies to respawn I just exited the town. I didn't even go far pretty much to where the shell is and I came back and they were all alive again. But otherwise just sleep, camp, come back and this room's always going to be full. Last time there were three, now there's four. So maybe you need four for the earring to spawn because when I first came here there was three. She lucked out there but not for long. Okay, now if you just watch on the right hand side of the screen you will see the looted items. And right there, silver earring. Thank you for playing. Okay, get the fuck out and see if you have a wanted sign on you or a wanted bounty, but nothing. Okay, so from here we're gonna hunt the legendary elk. Now I've got a video up of this as well but all in reverse. So the elk will be first, then the bison, and then the, then the garment. But uh, all the information is here. So we're going to be right there in the grizzlies under the skunk's tail. I'm assuming that's a skunk, otherwise the tail wouldn't be up. But the first clue is going to be directly in front of you. And remember, this is all in aid to craft the ghost bison garment set. Okay, inspect Uno. Then we're going to head over to the right hand side, I think it is, just over the hill. And there's going to be another one on a tree. Right here. And then it's going to take us to the right down the hill for the last clue. I'll catch up to you. And here we go. And now my cat wants attention. Fini, you want to say hello? Nah, nothing. Okay, so there's the next clue. This is a pretty cool looking white elk. I'm not sure if it's albino or just has a white coat. But there is the final clue. And now we're going to head just to the right. And he was a sneaky little puff adder because he was hiding behind the rock. All I could see were his antlers. There's a couple of trinkets as well you can craft with these items you are going to be collecting along the course of this video. So there he is right there. Again, I like to use the poison arrow if I can. But there is no grading of the legendary pelts, so you could use a... TNT arrow if you really wanted to. So again, I was trying to get a good view of him for the thumbnail and it's probably going to use this one. It's pretty about the branches in the way. So there we go. That's one and then a second one. And then he goes for a little trot and then passes on. Okay, so I think this is the final ingredient you need for the Ghost Bison Garment Set, which looks absolutely awesome. This is 
And I've, again, I've been asked to, to show the skinnings. Some people are interested in that, so you can skip ahead if you don't want to check it out. And there is some more information right there. It should be 100% after the skinning. Okay, trapper. Right, let's see. So if you just go two to the left, there we go, the horse cargo. You can sell all the pelts. And then this guy's gonna craft something for ya. Should lighten my load. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Go down to the ghost bison. And you can purchase the rest of the items right there. So it doesn't show the full outfit now because I'm wearing incorrect chaps. So I take the video to a more sunny spot. We can have a better look at the outfit. Okay, that's the trapper done. And here is the ghost bison outfit. Pretty damn cool. You could assume it's for cold weather. Here we go, do some modeling. Okay, so after that, we're going to pay one visit to the fence where we are going to craft two additional items. The first one being the bison horn trinket, and this will slow the oh, speed at which your dead eye drain or your stamina drains at least. Right there, that is the recipe, and then the effect. Stamina core drains less by 10%, and then after that we're going to grab the elk antler trinket. Well, that was a talisman actually. The next one's a trinket. So staying at the fence, where the grass is greener. And we're going to craft the elk antler, and this is going to increase the money looted by 10%. There it is. Alright guys, that is going to be the ghost bison outfit. So I hope you found the video informative. Hope you're enjoying the other content. Remember to hit that bell button to get notifications when videos get posted. So I want to say thank you so much for watching guys, and I'm going to catch you on the next one.